Hi everyone, I'm Shannon Brandyberry, Special Projects Editor with ABRN. I am again joined by Stacey Bartnick, Intertech's Aftermarket Industry Relations Manager for the CAPA program. Intertech is continuing its educational campaign to take you behind the scenes of CAPA testing and certification. Stacy is here today to speak about the performance testing required for CAPA certification. Stacy, what types of performance testing is done as a part of CAPA certification? As part of the certification process, CAPA requires testing to demonstrate that the aftermarket part will perform comparably to the car company service part in terms of fit, functionality, and of course, quality. For example, yield and tensile testing is required on metal and plastic parts. These types of tests demonstrate that the strength of the aftermarket part is comparable to the car company service part. CAPA's participating manufacturers must test both the car company brand service part and their aftermarket part, and the results must be within the tolerance as specified in the applicable CAPA standard. Does CAPA do any crash testing on its parts? Yes, it does. An example of performance testing required by CAPA is the dynamic or crash testing on bumper components. These parts are installed on an FMVSS 214 compliant simulation vehicle and crashed into a flat barrier at five miles per hour. Again, both the aftermarket part and the car company service part are crashed, and the results are analyzed for comparability and conformance to the CAPA standard. As part of CAPA 501 bumper standard development, CAPA performed full vehicle crash testing at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS. This testing helped to determine the appropriate tolerances for bumper part crash testing within the CAPA standard. Next, are there any performance tests in the CAPA program? There are. There's electromagnetic compatibility, EMC testing, and this is a performance test that is required on parts with active electric electronic devices, such as HID or LED components, and parts with motors. This testing ensures that the aftermarket part's electromagnetic energy emission will not interfere with the normal operation of a vehicle. Every vehicle has some type of electric system, and the more electronic systems in the vehicle, the higher the risk for electromagnetic interference. Finally, what if a part doesn't meet CAPA's performance requirements? An aftermarket part does not receive a CAPA certification until it passes all of the applicable tests. CAPA certification shows that the part demonstrates acceptable performance to globally recognized test methods and is comparable to the car company service part. For more information on CAPA certification and to see the videos of the te crash testing performed at IIHS, go to CAPACertified.org.